Hey fashion family, welcome back to my YouTube channel, your full package fashion teacher here from Mandela. In today's video, we are going to be learning how to draft pattern for trouser. If you've been having issue with your trouser making or you do not have any knowledge of it at all, this is the best video for you. The pattern I'm going to be teaching you in this video you, is, go, is the best trouser pattern ever. You are going to be having a very perfect fit. So first thing here, uh, I'm writing out the measurements you need in your waist measurement, your hip measurement, your tie, and then your knee measurement. Right. So first thing you want to do is draw your margin. Very important. Draw your margin. Then you get a uh, watch extension. Your paper must be up to the half of your hip. It must be up to uh, Anyway, I'll just use the front to draw the back. So you need to get your punch extension. Your punch extension is your hip divided by 10 minus 2. So in this case, my hip is uh extension plus the hip divided by 10 minus 2. So my hip is a uh, hip equals to 14. 6 plus 9. The actual hip is 45, so it's 45 plus 1. 45 plus 1 equals to 46. So divide by 10. Give me 4.6 minus 2. You give me 2.6. So I can just approximate it to two and a half inch, right? So me, my coach extension is two and a half. So I'm up to and a half from the edge like this. Okay. Then my crotch length is a uh, 12. My crotch length is 25 inches. So I'm made up 12.5 inches. Go the way down and uh, draw the horizontal line. Then you draw your punch extension line. Okay, so this line like this is your punch extension. While like this is your punch depth. Alright, so now on my. I need to get my hip line. Okay, we used to do two inches above the crotch line for the hip line, or you can just measure all the way from the top. Uh, I will use 10 inches. my hip line so this is hip line okay so now what i'm going to do now is i'll take from this line to the right my hip measurement my hip is 46 now divided by four we give me 11 and uh half i guess yeah. 11 and half so that's what I will take all the way up. The level and up, I'll take it all the way up. And just draw a line like this. Okay. So I'll divide it by two. I'll divide it by two. Yeah, to get my waist, the middle of my waist. My waist is uh, 32 inches. Okay, if I divide it by eight, it will give me four inches. If I divide it by four, it will give me eight inches. So by eight, it will give me four inches. So four on both sides gives you eight, which is put out the out of the uh, waist and I will make connection now like this and then I'll I will use my French curve I will bring this I will bring this here like this to the hip point this way just like this and I will use my French curve to create a connection here I'll create a connection here. You can from this point to go up by I think it's one inch or three quarter. Three three quarter to one inch. So that's what you use to connect it. You let your glass sit like this. So here you need to blend it very well so it doesn't even open. Right? Yeah, so the line has to be small. So that's that. So we have the line for Upper parts now, so this is the most important part of the trouser, the most important part. So you cannot get the length you want all the way from the top to your floor level. I will get mine to the knee level. Mine to the knee level is is a is twenty four, I think twenty four inches. So I'll just get the length there and draw a line. So this is the knee, right? Now what I will do is I'm going to divide. 
I'm going to divide from here into two. That is seven, right? So I'll bring that seven inches now. That's where I will divide the half of the new. My actually is 17. You add two inches to it, give 19. Half of 19 should be 8.5, right? So 8.5. So I need four and quarter on this side. Four and quarter on this side. So that will give me that will give me a shaped snake. I'll just use my info up from here. So this is a shaped snake. You see I'm making a short. Okay, I'm making a short. So it's fine. So you just connect like this. You can see. So I want to straight down and I'll take it all the way down to my to my trouser length. Okay. This is a, this is just coming down straight. This is just coming down straight. So whatever is underneath, you bring it down. But if I want it to be free, okay, I don't want it to, I don't want it exactly shaped to my knee. I'm going to add some value here to make it free. So for me, I'm making a place so that I don't want it to really be intact. So I'm just going to add uh, about one inch on both sides because I want it to be freer than you know the shape the shapes the shape the shape is next I can try it. So I'm going to make a this one. So I had that one inch on both sides because I wanted to be free. So this is the hem of my trouser now. Okay, so this is what I'm working with. This is what I'm working with. So now you can cut the front now and she needs to draft the back pattern. Or you can just attach paper here, draft the back pattern and then trace it out. Do you understand? So for me, I will just cut it. Now that we're done with the front uh, pattern drafting, let's move on to the back. And the beauty of this is that you just need your front pattern to draft the back and it's something very simple just put attention and you definitely get it right let's get started so first thing you want to do is to work on the waistline now if you look at the cut extension we're going straight right so there are some people people's measurements that when they place their waist measurement to touch that straight line of the cut extension in that case you need to move the back the the back waist point backwards so that it's uh their waist uh circumference will keep the band will keep at the back of their trouser but if you don't move it back and you just do a straight line at the back it's going to give so for somebody like me who's my curve here has already shifted backward from the cross gestation line i can decide to leave it straight like this so let's assume that some of these measurements is just always straight this way all you need to do is move it back by one inch okay and then curve it do you understand or if it's so close to the line you move it back by one inch so for me now i can decide to still move it back if i want to for me to have that perfect slant but the slant here is already fine because the bone is quite you know uh rounded you need to do the slant than the regular that slant so if you're doing that you move it back so whatever you move back here you have to add it back to this point and reconnect to the to the impact i will be leaving mine this way because it's already slanted okay so all i just need to do now is i am going to extend the crotch extension forward before i go there uh the back of the trouser needs to be raised up Okay, you need to raise it up by one inch. The center back is called lengthening of the center back. Then you connect it to the side. So that when you sit down, your bum will not be pulling the trouser down. So you just connect it. Yeah. So that's that. So let's say you move it back as well by one inch. You have to connect it. Bring it up from there and then bring it this way. Okay, so that's that. So now let's do with the crotch extension. Now the tie comes, the tie measurement comes in place. You need to get your tie circumference and add two inches to it. So my own exact tie circumference now is 27 inches. I'll add two inches to fit with the tie. Half of that is what you need for this part. But remember, it was just crotch extension measurement and hip measurements we used for the front. So now let me show you what to do for the back. So you now check what is here to here. Is it up to half of that measurement? Half of 29 should be 14.5, right? So what is it is not good 14.5 right so what you do is for the front you will not measure 14.5 like this i mean for the back you measure 14.5 this is 14.5 now for the front what we have here is less than 14.5 many one half inch to reach 14.5 that half inch shortage you are not going to add it to the front of this point let me take that again you measure from this point 
14.5 for the market. That's for the back. Now, you measure for the front. I have 14. The shortage there is what you will extend forward. Okay, you first measure the back, then shortage of the front. You extend it forward again. Then you now make connection. So that's the back. That's the back uh, extension. So this will make the box sit well. This will make the box sit well. Now, on this line, you have to come down by half inch. You come down by half inch. Okay. That's where the connection will be from. This is going to come down by half inch. Yeah. Then you will not connect it to meet this line. So because it's coming down by half inch now, of course, it's going to be passing like this. You see? It's going to, so I have to trace this out now and trace it out. Okay. So this is the back. That's all. That's all. That's all the adjustment you need to get the back pattern. So I've explained if the person is why and it's getting close to the front extension and like what you will do. Okay. But mine is already well slanted, so I don't need to do that here. Okay. So you can decide to add that to the back if you want. I usually add that to my back. Okay, but that's optional. So let me just add that one inch down. Close on this line. Then I will connect it to the hip. It's completely optional. So that's my back. So you can see. It's as simple as a thing. So I want my trouser leg to be a bit shorter than the knee leg. Just a little short, so I'll just take like uh, two inches off. So I want it to be a bit short, not too short, so I can now chop this part off. But I needed that in me late as a guy for me to enjoy the trouser. So then I'll go ahead now and cut. Now, at this point, I know I needed a tracing wheel. Okay, I needed to trace the horizontal lines out, the hip line, and then the tie, and then that part of the crotch that crosses over the front pattern, you know, I needed to trace it out so I won't affect the front pattern. So make sure you, make sure you have your tracing wheel close by when you're making a trouser pattern. So after tracing, I went ahead to separate the patterns and then I cut out the traced line of the back. Yeah, and then I also uh, drew out the lines of the hip and then the tie. So labeling is very important. If you have been watching my videos, I always do that. I label the back pattern and draw the straight green line and then uh, wrote the number of fabric pieces to be cut and then the sewing allowances. Okay, all the sewing allowances we carry um, half inch. Now the crotch part, you can see that I labeled different sewing allowance from the hip line upward is going to carry 1.5 inches for the zipper and then downward from the hip line will be half of an inch so yeah uh side same one the other part half then the m line one as well same for the uh front piece except for the crotch line half inch for the crotch line of the front piece half inch for the inseam one for the side and then one for the m then half for the waistline so that will be all for this video tutorial um you can draft your own pattern and let me see your results i will see you in another class thank you and make sure you give this video a thumbs up subscribe and turn on the notification bell for the next tutorial see you guys next time bye